Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Takedown Man, and tonight I have a pretty cool episode for you guys. It's an educational one. It shows all kinds of sites having to do with anonymity, um, private emailing, hacking, quantum physics, math, just everything along the lines of science, education, mathematics, and more. So be sure to check it out, guys. And uh, I am Takedown Man, and this is the Deep Web. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Takedown Man, and I'm back with another episode. And on today's episode, we got a few more sites for you guys. And uh, these are more towards leaning towards like educational slash anonymous sites. So we're going to look at Cyber Gorilla first because a lot of you guys said that the link that you had before isn't working. And at the somewhere in the video, I'm going to provide the links and stuff for you. So just watch through the video. All right, so let's go down here real quick basically is what cyber gorilla does they provide email and encryption services that whenever it's sent out does not log any of your personal information in it um, it is free it is done out of labor of love as they call it and um, yeah basically this is asked that you contribute and help and so forth and do your part and um, the cool thing about this website is not only does it do all that it also has a lot of different things that you can actually do as you can see and it has a lot of different things that you can actually set up and do and so on but that part they have the radio they have links for ITP onions and garlic so yeah for those you, you know we don't know about it but heard assessments um, see again certificates contact donations and then of course your login and whenever you get your login um, is what you're going to do, you're going to click login and it's going to have you make an account if you don't already have one and there's places all the way down to actually sign up in different spots on here as well as contribute so so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this one right here and uh, we're going to go on to the next one okay guys next up we have the tin hat and is what the tin hat is is pretty much a private like news deal um, it actually teaches you how to do it and all that there's two different ways to access the site through the onion and through ITP it has a uh, support on here and they actually do get back in touch with you pretty quickly if you try to go on there um, let's look at the blog real quick yeah the blog actually shows you like all kinds of tutorials on the how to's and so on as well as what's going on in the world around you so yeah you can check this all out I mean it's pretty cool actually it's got a lot of different articles and stuff on it um, the best way to do it would actually be to check it out look at the tutorials you can go to all and just check it out real quick all tutorials I mean they have a lot of tutorials on how to use a lot of different things on here guys so it is definitely worth looking at if you're going to go on tutorial to learn about different things um, I think it's a better site also for learning about anonymity and staying safe on tour as well as ITP and I believe they have some stuff on here for Freenet and a couple other hidden browsers so yeah yeah it shows how to do all kinds of stuff though guys so yeah there you go search alternatives to google lots and lots of them that don't actually track your search history all right so now we're going to go to the home page here and i'm kind of doing it backwards but this way y'all can actually look at what it's about before you know the website actually comes up but yeah it shows a little bit of everything on this on the front page so yeah that's actually a real Twitter don't you know confuse it with the Twitter mirror the tour Twitter um, the Bitcoin can't remember which one that is I know it's for some social thing but I can't remember what it's for 
All right, guys, we're going to go to the next one now. All right, guys, on this one, we're going to talk about Readers Against DRM. And as what that is, it is pretty much something that I know Apple did and a few other companies went in on to make books private. These are actually free books. As you can see, six users sharing 758 books from 191 offers. So um, it shows the EPUB created, how many texts. And all that good stuff so yeah I like that reading can seriously damage your ignorance might have to get that and make a meme out of it I don't know all right so let's go to news because they do have news up here see uh, John Tabong they have all kinds of news about their stuff what's going on and so on so yeah so for all you guys that keep asking hey you know is there any good book sites yeah this is one of them and I know some of these sites I have covered before but unfortunately a lot of them have been shut down and stuff over time and just the address has changed all right so let's go to authors as you can see there are a lot so yeah we'll just bring up the first page here and just kind of scroll through real quick uh, so yeah guys right there you get a book on Julian Assange Assange Ugh, I can't talk alright so check out the subjects I mean I know they even have like a um it's supposed to be like one of the original Bibles and it's like almost nothing like the Bible people read now so yeah as you can see we're just going through the first page there's a lot of pages so all right so now we'll go to librarians who they are and what they do hey you know I, I really think um, these guys are, are awesome for doing what they have to do I really do I think they're pretty awesome for what they do here because they open up a whole new world to people that wouldn't normally be able to read stuff so yeah as you can see lots and lots and lots of readers but we need more I guess you know and there's a manual and of course there's a login for people who might want to sign up to upload books and so forth on there so all right guys pretty much we're gonna go ahead and get out of this one and we're gonna go to the next one the irrational respect for authority is something for the truth Albert Einstein this is a Portuguese website it's supposed to be a news website um, for all my Portuguese speakers um, I looked up a few things to try to figure out what was on here because it is in Portuguese and since I don't really read Portuguese I had to use Google Translate however um, Amaris 2.0 seems to be kind of like one of those freedom sites um, from the couple of posts that I read that I could access without an account um, I can't make any promises as to what's in any further but I do know that they are basically like anti-government kind of deal so and that doesn't exactly make them a bad site so but I will tell you guys this much go on there proceed with caution if you do go on there so that way you just kind of know I'm not really sure 100% what's on there the only thing I have found on there like I said was two posts that were basically um, news pretty much they were just news about what's going on in the world so and it, that's exactly what the forum might be it might just be about news so I don't know but either way guys we're gonna go ahead and go to the next one alright so this website right here guys is called bluish colder as what it is is programming languages martial arts and computers the web logs of Chris double so as you guys can see here it is quite a bit of stuff I will put it to the side just so that you guys can actually see how much stuff it actually is I mean it's actually a lot and if you go to the side here it also has the programming languages as well so let's go to the side here real quick scroll back up because my mouse was acting funky but yeah 
so is what this does this actually shows you how to use all of these and it does require a little basic knowledge of coding to do it however most people can learn coding pretty easily as long as they know how to use a computer so yeah so yeah if you look on the right side here you'll actually see the mouse and it's barely even going down here I'm getting close to halfway yeah but yeah alright guys so as you can see there's lots here and then there's lots of extra things to click on here and actually learn a thing or two about coding and uh, martial arts and computers so yeah guys this right here is another educational site that I would um, totally suggest checking out if you guys are interested in it we're gonna go on to the next video guys alright guys so on this next one here we're gonna talk about something called post-it and as what post-it is is just literally a paste bin and people post questions answers stupid shit um, just basically whatever they feel um, they can post it public private one-time view as you can see it's got titles and so forth however I'm not clicking on shit on this damn website and be careful what you click because you never ever know what may be on the other side of those links however if you want to post some useful information like news media and so on so it doesn't get lost this would be the place to post it um, unless if somebody's really describing something on here though I wouldn't click it unless they describe in detail what the hell's on it and even then sometimes it could be something you don't want to see so yeah but if you have questions you can also post them on there and you may get an answer or you may get people just talking shit so yeah either way guys we're gonna go on to the next site alright guys on this one we're gonna talk about a non hosting and it's what a non hosting really does they're basically a site that is well, I guess the best way to put it anonymous however they do all the like different things a website would do basically it shows you on the side here exactly what they do what they can help you build not you know really sure about how fast it is but they do guarantee that they're fast safe and reliable so if you guys are looking to build a website on the deep web these will probably be one of the guys to talk to seeing how they don't want any money from you and uh, yeah they have a private message system support forum and support chats so yeah there you go guys alright we're gonna go ahead and go to the next website alright guys the next site here is private mailers 2015 and basically is what this site is is just a website that has like all the private emailers on there and it even says like what kind they are what they if they are this and they are that or they're not and a lot of these are well actually all of them pretty much are open or service web even unemail.in I mean that's that is surface but these guys on the surface web keep the least amount of information on you and they're privacy friendly and with saying that a lot of you guys if you do know what that means because a lot of times Google Yahoo and so forth all those guys actually make money off of surveilling your activities and your emails they make it off that advertising and so on which is why ghostry is a good thing to have if you're using Chrome or Internet Explorer Firefox Opera etc so yeah all right guys we're gonna go on to the next uh, website here so stick around all right guys on this episode here or on this video here we're going to talk about BRM lab and it basically is what it is is hackerspace Prague they have all kinds of conventions all kinds of learning they have all kinds of events so yeah so if you guys ever want to check them out you can always feel free to check them out they teach them um, you know, basically as you can see here 
It is a nonprofit community ran hackerspace in Prague. We provide a space where people who make things can come to share tools and knowledge. And as you can see, they're doing all kinds of different computer stuff up there, all kinds of different science and technology stuff. So, yeah. So, if this interests you, I know this is a very short thing, but unfortunately, there's not really much I can say about them beyond just coming to check it out. I know they do different tutorials. I know they have a wiki. It's right there. And, um... Yeah, they're actually pretty cool. I know they have something on a dot com as well, but they do have an onion, which I will post at some point in the video. So, yeah, guys. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our next one and last website for the night. Okay, everybody. It is the Intel Exchange. That's right. I've done different things on them before. However, it's uh, it's been moved since then. And... Well, a lot of people aren't looking at my really old videos, so, yeah. If you want to sign up with the Intel Exchange, you're actually going to have to make a username and password. You'll have to put it in, and right here, you have to go to sign up. But whenever you go to sign up, the only way that you can actually post anywhere beyond here is to go here. You have to go inside of this here, and you have to pretty much tell them not really who you are say <laughs> I guess they're making sure you don't want to give them any personal information as they don't want it trust me they really frown on that shit however if you just have like a regular question you can just post it there and people will answer it however if you actually want to get in on the action with them you need to put up what your knowledge is of the internet conspiracies math science whatever and if you spell it correctly if you aren't like spammy excuse me spamming and so on they're more than happy a lot of times to verify you though literally it takes a maybe a day top sometimes but this is why I say this all right guys because we'll actually look at some of the discussions that's going on So there is a lot of cool stuff on here, guys. It's a lot of posts, and there are a lot of people talking. And it's what I love about the Intel Exchange is it covers a little bit of everything as far as learning, as far as math, science. There's even some herbology on there. There is all kinds of different things on here. All right, let's go back because that's, yeah, not even halfway down the page. But there is so much here to learn from people. See, I love it. I love it, man. It's, it's just so much information here. It's not even funny. And honestly, if you guys are actually going to donate to any deep website, if you want to donate to keep a website going, this is the one. No, I don't own it. Yes, I do use it. However, it's, I don't know, it's its just a pretty awesome website. So, we're going to go down a little more. They have links and resources, and they don't put child porn up. They don't even deal with that shit. That's what I love about these guys. Idea and Plan Factory. Okay, let's go to that one. I mean, there's just so much great shit on here, I can't really... And there is all kinds of conspiracy theories, and there's some real stuff. And people come up with their own inventions on here. I mean, I, I just, I, I can't, yeah, I know y'all are like, all right, dude, fuck, you've said that already. Um, the conspiracy, we'll go back up to suppressed technology in a minute. But I know a lot of people get their news and all kinds of funny to crazy stuff to inventive stuff on here. And it's just, it is a really awesome site for this. You guys keep saying you want something that's educational. You want something that's very, you know, scientific. Something that deals with mathematics. Something that deals with quantum physics. Something that deals with regular physics. Science in general. It is on here.
love all the Nikolai Tesla stuff as well. They have a lot of it on here. All right, the art of spending money, of earning and spending money. Physical and mental health. This is a good one for people who do have a lot of mental health problems. They can come on here and talk, and people can talk about what's been working for them. So people realize that they do have other options out there. And there are actually doctors, scientists, and the like on here. There's also lawyers and just the regular everyday people, teachers, professors. It's just so much, so much of a gathering of people here that it's just, it's pretty awesome. Physics, chemistry, biology, and quantum mechanics. Yes, you know where I like to go. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. And some of this stuff is a little risque as far as conversation. I won't lie about that. <coughs> However, if it's for learning purposes that you're good. Oh, excuse me. Oh, man, not the yawns again. I am like so worried I'm fixing to leave um, later on today about 8 o'clock tonight so yeah I'm going down to Panama City getting off there and going um, to a place out there right outside of Panama City so it's going to be pretty cool and of course hacking programming tour and everything else about software and am I showing these guys a little favoritism yeah I am actually but whatever it's my show I don't care <clears throat> I think this is something that everybody could actually benefit from so long as they keep their identity to themselves I think you'll be just fine on the site I've never really known anybody to hack people I have actually seen them talking to people telling them hey you know because a lot of people on here do own websites as well on the deep web and they're like hey dude y'all really need to quit coming on here with tour the web because yeah I'm seeing all your IP numbers and shit and yeah if the government ever did hack my shit and don't know exactly where to come get you at so they actually want you to use Tor and there's some stuff on hardware and we're going to go here this is content from the old Intel exchange um, before they went down and it was just some really cool stuff that they have up there I think Mr. Tape is one of the owners of the Intel Exchange at least he's one of the guys who actually run the show here I'm, I'm coming to find out so yeah but either way guys that's it for the Intel Exchange and uh, pretty much the video so this is your boy Takedown Man saying thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe and share all my videos so that way uh we can keep doing these uh video series and uh i hope you guys really enjoyed this one i know i did because i love the educational stuff i love the scientific stuff i love talking about hacking and science in general and uh like i said guys don't forget about the mathematics and all the fun stuff so yeah guys um also if you can donation things up top and if you can't donate there I do have a patreon account so feel free to do that if you cannot donate it's fine just keep watching my videos like and you know make sure you subscribe and share my videos and we'll be all good if you can't donate not a problem guys so I appreciate you guys for watching my shows like this is like 400 and something now so and we've grown so much that I really appreciate you guys I really do and I'm not going to be on tomorrow because, like I said, I'm going to be on a Greyhound or a Hellhound, as a lot of people put it. But um, at least tomorrow night anyways, I might stop real quick and make a video and upload it whenever I have a layover. But beyond that, we're good. All right, guys. Peace out. Mahalo. You guys have a great night.